Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday. <laughs> oh man, am I glad it's Friday. It's Friday, so I'm here for a Friday Reads. Well, in case anybody's been living under a rock this week, it's Booktubeathon and um, yeah, it's, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think I've done any more reading, any extra reading this week than I would have done on a normal week, uh, but I've certainly felt more guilty about all the time I've spent not reading, so yay, <laughs> it's been, it's been a pretty fun week in life, so um, I had a girlfriend who lives in England um, come and visit on Monday, and we had a great day just hanging out and catching up. But there wasn't a lot of, you know, reading that day. That's fine. Uh, and then my husband was away for work for a while, which just meant a bit more running around with the kids because he's an excellent father and very hands-on. And so when he's not here, it's a little bit more stressful than normal. And then he got back and he was sick in bed uh, for a day. <laughs> So that was great. So I guess the what I'm oh yeah, what else what else has been going on that's not book related? Um oh my band has a gig in uh at the end of the month and I've been trying to get some rehearsals together because we're trying to get a few new songs into the repertoire and like fully everybody's sick. <laughs> so so that's been great. I don't know what's going on. It's it's winter people it may not be winter where you are but man is it winter here and I can't get light and everybody's sick and book on yay so we'll just stop complaining about that and I'll tell you what I read I finished Pleasantville by Attica Locke which is the one that I was reading last Friday and I finished that just in time for midnight uh, to start Booktubeathon. And that was a super fantastic, amazing read. And I, I'm so distracted today. I'm not going to tell you about it, but I do promise, I solemnly swear that I'm going to do um, a standalone review of that one because it was a great book. Attica Locke, I think, is um, my new favorite author. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that was that was a really good one. Beyond that, I read the uh, Batman. Where is it? Not Batman, sorry. I read the Batgirl um, trade that I wanted to read. I was a little disappointed in this. I've heard all sorts of good things about this, but the art was great in a kind of classic sort of comic sort of a way. Uh, the storylines I felt jumped all over the place and it's, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just too old. I am often feel like that sometimes when I read things. It's just a bit look at me, look at me. She's always got her cell phone. There's stuff about selfies. There's stuff about um, online dating. There's, yeah, it's, I don't know, it just feels a bit like we're really working hard to make this, uh, you know, young people relate to this. And yeah, I, I was a bit underwhelmed, actually. So if anybody's read this and has some thoughts and wants to, you know, reframe it for me in a way that'll help me enjoy it a bit more, maybe I'd be up for that. I also read Raymond Chandler's um, Farewell, My Lovely, which I finished yesterday. I've been struggling through this in bits and pieces, not because it's difficult to read, but just because my week has been what my week has been. And so like every five minutes, I'm like, I have to read something, but I've only got five minutes. And so it's been a pretty disjointed read, which probably wasn't fair to Raymond Chandler. Um, Farewell, My Lovely is the second of the Philip Marlowe novels, comes after The Big Sleep. It's like mega stylish. I like, I, I posted a whole bunch of quotes on Twitter, but I could have posted like at least three times as many more because there's just so many quotable lines in it. Um, if you're at all interested in um, stylish sort of noir writing, Raymond Chandler is where to go because he just he's he's just got such a fantastic turn of phrase. Um, he actually didn't start writing. Uh, crime fiction until he was well into his 40s and his first novel I think was published when he was 51 so you know there is hope there is hope for all of us 
I find that really encouraging, actually. There is some really problematic stuff about race in Farewell, My Lovely. The first murder that happens on the page is of a black bar owner. The way that this death is treated in the story is just really problematic. By the end of the book, this murder, this first murder, seems to have completely disappeared from the story. So when the guy who is that killer, who kills other people in the course of the story, when he's finally kind of wrapped up, um, the, the first murder doesn't really even seem to factor in the weighing up of his crimes. And, yeah, in terms of the actual storyline, it's a classic Chandler story in that Philip Marlowe, just stuff keeps happening to him and it's, it's, it's actually quite difficult to follow what you know it's not impossible it's not like it doesn't make sense at all but it's just one thing after another philip marlowe gets knocked out and then comes to at least three different times and so it's keeping track of what's going on in the story can be a little bit of a struggle i think you've just got to if you're going to in, enjoy it you've just got to abandon yourself to it soak up the prose and yeah anyway farewell my lovely by raymond chandler i finished that which uh knocks off one of my challenges for uh, the book Tubathon challenge which was a, an author whose surname starts with the same letter as yours I always also read um, Batgirl which has got blue on the cover so that's another challenge I also read another book that um, I said in my book Tubathon I was going to read which was Joshua I finished that last night and I've already been talking for a long time, so I'm not going to get into it here. I had really, really mixed reaction to that one. Um, I, look, it's not a mystery to me that there's unpleasant stuff that goes on in the Old Testament of the Bible, but somehow sitting down and reading it all in one go, I read I read it way to go, the, the whole story, uh, and Joshua is, all, is basically about ethnic cleansing or something. <laughs> it's... It's just all these different cities that get burnt to the ground by the people of God because God tells them to. And it's it's really very difficult reading, actually. So for something lighter, I then started Animal Farm by George Orwell, <laughs> which I'm halfway through at present. Yeah. Okay, so this is why I'm so upbeat today. This is the one that I'm really hoping to get to over the weekend. I, I have really not even begun this properly. But if I'm going to close out book, Booktubeathon, I, I absolutely have to read this one because it was the most recent acquired book. And um, I'm just going to give it a solid college try. I, I honestly don't think it, I'm going to get there, but we'll see. But, you know, the good news is my husband is up and about today so you know life is coming back to normal I've got rehearsal tomorrow I think there's going to be enough of us to get together so um, who knows it's always fun to jump around and you know make some noise with the band so I'm looking forward to that um, what are you guys looking forward to this weekend I'd love to hear I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later bye